All right. Uh, can I have all the girls on this side of the rope? If for some reason you're gonna get sucked through this thing, I need you to be able to let go and go that way, all right? So, you guys are gonna win easily. But if you should happen to come towards here, I need you to let go, because I don't want you to go through the floor. Got it? Nobody has their, have their wrapped around their fingers, right? And I have this rope here. Nothing will happen, but this is my, this is my insurance policy. All right, wait till I say go. Wait, wait, and go. It's better if you girls stay closer to the tree to keep it parallel with the tree's force. There you go, now pull. They get it. You guys are trying. You girls aren't even trying, you're smiling. Girls won. Good job, you got to put it down. <laughs> Listen up, guys, and I'm going to explain it this way this time. I'm going to explain it as if Newton was explaining it, all right? So there's two segments of rope here. We talked about that already. But this side obviously has the advantage. So when you pull on this rope, what are you actually pulling on? A pulley. Well, the pulley turns it around so that you're pulling on the tree. All right, so when you pull on this rope, you pull on the tree. What did we learn? What does the tree do when you pull on it? What happens when you push or pull on something? Third law, what does it do? It pulls or pushes back. So when you pull on the tree, the tree pulls back. How hard does the tree pull back? Same amount. So if you pull with 100 newtons, then the tree will pull with 100 newtons. If you pull with five, the tree will pull with five. That's why it's matter, it matters that you guys tried on this side, because the tree will try back. Now, here's the next question. When you pull on this rope, which way are you pulling? Which way? Show me with your fingers. You're pointing, you're pulling this way. Question, which way is the tree pulling? No, don't point where I'm, this is, don't point where I'm pointing, it's not pulling up. Which way is the tree pointing? Pulling. Also pulling that way. You and the tree are pulling the same direction because that's what pulleys do. They turn the force around. So you and the tree, even though you're against each other, you're with each other, you're going 100, the tree's going 100, you're going 200 that way. Meanwhile, the other team is doing whatever they can that way. That makes you worth two. Now here's the problem. The tree, even though it's great at pulling when you pull on it, what doesn't the tree do? It doesn't move. It's got those roots things, right? So the tree doesn't move. So who is in charge? Who has to shorten this rope for the tree? You do, right? So you have to go how far? Not just your rope, but also its rope. So you have to go how many times farther? Two times as far. So that's where you get your two times as, uh, as two times the force because you're going two times the distance because you got to shorten the two segments of rope. If you do this demonstration, there's a lot of dangerous parts to it. If you have a small pulley because you only have small ropes, uh, your pulley will probably be fine, but your rope will snap and it'll snap on the side on the this side with the the extra force on it. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure you buy, you can spend the extra bucks and buy a pulley that can handle all the force, buy ropes, tie good knots that can afford, that can handle that, uh, that stress. I added this rope on it here, and this is sort of my insurance policy. If a rope or a knot breaks, that at least I can pull it back and so it doesn't swing and hit a kid in the teeth. And then I just have it carabinered over here on the tree. Um, and that would be easily rated. A kid's not gonna snap through that. And then I have a few knots tied in the rope, especially on the pulley side. It's nice if you can keep the kids behind the pulley, but this will catch uh, the rope from going, the fingers from going through the pulley. But you still wanna make sure that the kids have, uh, are not wrapping around their fingers and that nobody's hands are gonna go through the pulley and that they have a way to jump out of the way and that you've got control over it. Because a lot can go wrong, but a lot of good stuff is covered in this. Have fun.